Former Bucks kicker Lawrence Tynes is suing the team because he says it's responsible for him contracting MRSA and no longer being able to play football. He also says that he believes former trainer Todd Torricelli is the one that brought the infection into the building an infection that impacted three players, including him, along with Carl Nix and Jonathan Banks, with he and Nix no longer able to play. Tyne says that he wakes up daily in constant pain. He's only 36 years old, says he can no longer kick the ball forcefully, which is why he's had to retire. He had to undergo multiple surgical procedures, take six different types of antibiotics, and for six weeks, he had to have a pick line in to rid his body of the infection. Now, Tynes is suing the team for $20 million in lost wages, plus $15 million in additional damages. That might sound like a lot, but when you consider the fact that he was making anywhere from $800,000 to $900,000 a year and the lifespan of kickers nowadays, the fact that you have had some that have kicked until they were 45 and even 47 years old, that's quite possible that he could have reached that point with both his salary and endorsement deals and appearances. Now, backing up just a little bit, every year for the last several years, Tynes has underwent a toenail procedure. Well, he had that procedure done around the time of training camp, and it was also around the same time that Torricelli was rehabbing from knee surgery. Using the same facilities, including the hot and cold tub, along with towels that the players use in the training rooms. Now, this lawsuit was not unexpected, and in fact, Tynes had already filed a grievance with the NFLPA, with the big issue here being his pension. The Bucks decided to place him on the non-football injury list as opposed to season-ending injured reserve, and by doing that, they were unwilling to accept fault for him contracting the illness. But that also meant that he did not have an accrued season counting towards his pension. And with these veteran players, that pension is everything. It's ultimately what sets them up for retirement and being able to take care of their families in the future. And Tynes is a husband and a father. For Tynes, it's not just about doing this for the money and reclaiming lost earnings, but it's also to prevent this from happening to guys in the future. He believes that what the Bucks did to him was wrong, and he also believes that what they did to Carl Nix was wrong. And so he is hoping that he can, in some way, help protect any other player in the future, as again, two out of three guys inside this building are no longer playing football. With Sports Talk Florida, I'm Jenna Lane.